<laughs> yeah, I have a question. What do you think about these two food labels? Why? If you can see it, so it's sunflower oil, which is claimed to be cholesterol free, and the salt, which is labeled as not containing any genetically modified <laughs> organisms. <laughs> so, well, we're stupid, because all vegetable oils, no exception, cannot contain any cholesterol, by definition. And the salt, for God's sake, is a mineral. <laughs> it cannot contain any organism, aside genetically modified. And the manager, the marketologists, put these labels on the food just to, well, because they think that it will help the food to sell. I'm not sure maybe it helps. But here I have one more label, which is not seem to be too moronic, and in fact is very respectable. I'm talking about the label natural, organic, chemical free. Uh, in the next five minutes I will tell you why I'm so upset about these terms, why they drive me crazy, and why you should know better when you choose your products based on these labels. So today we all know that, that natural is good, natural is healthy, it's good for you, and if you're going to sell a new expensive yogurt, you just have to put the word natural on the packaging. Or if you're going to launch a new life cosmetics, well, make sure that everyone knows it's natural. So natural is now is a byword for purity, for health, for goodness. And it is a lie. Nature isn't good. Just as well as nature isn't bad, it's just the way we things are. So let me start from the fact that nature is the word best chemist. Out of ten, the most deadly poisons exist. Eight have been invented by the nature, and only two by the man. Well, you could tell me that, come on, I know that there are some natural poisons, right? But I'm not going to eat any poisonous frogs or shrooms, so it means I'm safe, right? Ron, you all heard about the pesticides, the compounds we treat our plants to fight the insects. But do you think it was a man who invented them? Nature invented pesticides millions of years ago. The plants wouldn't survive if they have not been filled with toxic chemicals. They have no claws, they have no teeth, they don't have an immune system, and they can run away. So the only option for plants to survive, to not to be eaten, is just to fill himself, himself itself with uh, toxic chemicals. So each day we eat approximately one and a half gram of natural, perfectly natural pesticides, which are dangerous for people. And that's approximately 10,000 times more than the residue of synthetic pesticides in our food. So it's kind of not so, it's not so dangerous. So what it means? How we, how we manage to survive? Because our liver is really a wonderful organ. It works 24 7 and it can break down all, all stuff of nasty whole whole bunch of nasty stuff, as long as we do not overdo it. For example, you all know what carrots, eating carrots, is really good for your health. However, a couple of days ago there was a case of carrots overconsumption, and sadly the victim turned orange and died. And that's not a joke. So from pesticides to food additives. Well, you know, artificial sweeteners, or maybe conserving agents, are they get good or bad? Well, one thing for sure, they're not natural. And it is not natural for milk, I agree, to preserve for eight months, right? But do you know what is natural for milk? Milk tends to spoil, and the spoiled milk was the major cause, the leading cause of children's mortality in Victorian England, and that is a fact. So are you still sure that natural is so good for you? Well, let me give you another example, the sausages. Uh, if we skip one step in preparation and forget to add a tiny amount of specific compound called sodium nitrite, which is stabilizer, uh, we have a not huge but still significant chance of poisoning by botulinum. And botulinum is the word most potent toxin. Actually, one tablespoon would be just enough to eliminate the humankind and I'm not exaggerating numbers here. Mm -hmm. So you can choose. Eat a tiny amount of relatively safe stabilizer or have a significant chance of 
well, fast, but still quite unpleasant death. Unfortunately, there are people who choose by later. So, but my point is, that the golden age of nature, let's say, food never existed. In 17th century, the average expectancy of life was 30 years. Now it's 70, almost 70. But the, the infancy mortality dropped from 25 to 5 to less than 5 percent. Kind of improvement, right? So we kind of forget that food additives does not kill people. Spoiled food does. And that pesticides do not kill people, they can kill the pest, which is insects and so on. But hunger and diseases do kill people. Probably you heard about the company for banning the compound called dihydrogen monoxide from the usage in industry. It was a huge list of all negative effects of this compound, and let me tell you, these effects are real. And it's still used in industry, in medicine, in food industry. So many people actually signed the petition and agreed that it should be banned. But in fact, it was just what, just the chemical name of what. So don't let yourself be treated in the same way. Don't buy the food just because it says it's natural or it's organic. Remember, these labels are misleading. Buy food because it's fresh. Buy food because you like the taste or smell or how it looks like. And let the marketologists out there to eat very expensive, sometimes tasteless, sometimes kind of dangerous, but such a natural and such an organic yogurt. Thank you.